friends, it's Miss Piper. I have another book to read today. This one is called Jalapeno Bagels. The author is Natasha Wing and the illustrator is Robert Casilla. What should I bring to school on Monday for International Day? I asked my mom. My teacher told us to bring something from our culture. Hmm, said my mom. You could bring a treat from the Panaderia, she suggests. Panaderia is what mom calls our bakery. Help us bake something on Sunday, and then you can pick out whatever you want. That's a deal, I tell her. I like helping out at the bakery. It's warm there, and everything smells so good. Early Sunday morning, when it's still dark, my mom wakes me up. Pablo, it's time to go to work, she says. We walk down the street to the bakery. My father turns on the lights. My mother turns on the ovens. She goes to get the pans and ingredients for pan dulce. Pan dulce is a Mexican sweet bread. I help my mother mix and knead the dough. She shapes rolls and loaves of the bread and slides them into the oven. People, t people tell her she makes the best pan dulce in town. Maybe I'll bring pan dulce to school, I say. Next, we make empanadas de calabaza, pumpkin turnovers. I'm in charge of spooning the pumpkin filling. Mama folds the dough in half and presses the edges with a fork. She bakes them until they're flaky and golden brown. Some customers come to our bakery just for her turnovers. Maybe I'll bring empanadas de calabaza instead. Hmm, said mom, you'll figure it out. Are you ready to make chango bars? Chango means monkey man. Mama lets me pour in the chocolate chips and nuts. When she's not looking, I'll pour in a little extra chocolate chips. I could bring chango bars. Those are my favorite dessert. Mine too, says Mama, and this batch should be extra good because I put in extra chocolate chips. They both put in extra chocolate chips, yum. My father, my father calls me from the back room. Pablo, come help me with the bagels. Papa speaks English and Yiddish. He learned Yiddish from his family in New York City. I know some words too. Bubby means grandmother. He uses my Bubby's recipe to make the bagels. First, he makes the dough in a big metal bowl. Then he rolls it out into long rope shape. He cuts off pieces and shows me how to connect the ends in a circle. We put the circles on trays where they sit and rise. While we are waiting, my father makes challah bread, Jewish braided bread. He lets me practice braiding challah bread on my own counter. It's a lot like braiding hair. The customers say it's almost too beautiful to eat. Maybe I'll bring a loaf of challah bread to school, I tell Papa, and he smiles. When the bagel dough has risen, he boils the bagels in a huge pot of water and fishes them out with a long slotted spoon. I sprinkle on poppy seeds and sesame seeds and then they go in the oven. <gasps> Maybe I could bring sesame seed bagels with cream cheese. No lox, says my father. Lox is smoked salmon. My father's favorite ba bagel is pumpernickel with a smear of cream cheese and lox. I crinkle my nose. Ew, lox tastes like fish. I like jam better. My mother joins us and helps my father make another batch of bagels. This time we make jalapeno bagels. My parents use their own special recipe. While Papa kneads the dough, Mama chops the jalapeno chilies. She tosses them into the dough and adds dried red peppers. We roll, cut, make circles, and let them rise. I can't wait till they're done because I'm getting hungry. Have you decided what you're going to bring to school tomorrow? asks my Mama. It's so hard to choose. Everything is so good, I tell her, except for the locks. Well, you should decide before we open, says Mama, or else our customers will buy everything up. I walk past all the food, the sweet bread, the jungle bars, the bagels. I think about my mother and my father and all the different things they make in the bakery. And suddenly I know exactly what to bring. Jalapeno bagels, I tell my parents, and I'll spread them with cream cheese and jam. Why are you going to bring jalapeno bagels, asked Papa. Well, because they're a mixture of both of you, just like me. And that's the end. And there's a recipe on the back for some chango bars. Miss Piper loves chango bars. And some jalapeno bagels. So I'm going to put those in your folder, so look for those. And if you make them, let Miss Piper know how they are. The end.